What is up, my YouTube fam? We're back again with another one. Welcome back to Round the Table Podcast number 46, I do believe it is. Like I said, I forget these things, guys. I don't pay attention to my numbers. I really honestly don't. Maybe I should just quit putting numbers on them and just go with Round the Table Podcast. That's what I maybe should do, and that's probably what I will do. So anyways, guys, I'm back with another one. Popcorn Planet. Never heard of it before. It's actually... I had seen it through Cinema Shoguns when he was actually on it. I didn't see him on it, but I actually seen... I'm, he referred the show. Not to me, but on his channel whenever I was doing uh, actually uh, reaction videos of him. It's actually on my channel. That's how I heard of it. That was really complicated, I know. But anyways, guys, love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like, subscribe to the channel. It's highly appreciated. Now, I want to say this real quick. Xanime, I've only got like three videos of you on my channel, plain and simple. But last night I was on Cycle Babble's podcast again. And that thing is so terrible. You can't even get a word in. And when you do, everybody's yelling at you, calling you everything in the book that they could do because you're associated with Creek Squad. Am I ashamed of that? No, I'm not. Did I say I stayed neutral? Yes, I did. And that's what I do. If you watch my videos, I stay neutral all the way through. Has Ryan Upchurch pinned some of my videos? Yes, he has. And thank you for that. And shout out to Creek Squad. But now I'm back. Zanime, you were up to bat because, look, in this video, there is no holds barred to it. Because you say things in this video that makes absolutely no sense. You sat here and you talk about the Spanish party that you wasn't there. Time to find out you said it was actually a phone on a phone. A phone call to a phone call to a phone call. That's basically what you said it was. That's not originally what you said it was. So I'm going to leave that blank because we're going to get to that. But as far as that goes, we have other people calling in. And this woman leaves these people speechless. They, their, their looks are blank. Like, done. Never seen it done before. Anyways, guys, let's get to it. Let's watch it. Let's see what we, they have to say. And you started asking questions, or seemingly against what Ryan was doing, to sort of ask more about Ronnie and sort of defend Ronnie. Is that where sort of things started to go south for you? Yes. Yes, exactly. So can you tell it for uh, let's hear I'd like to hear your side of this. What happened in that web stream with Ryan and everybody and Tony? What, why were you humoring and, and trying to hear out Ronnie? So I was I heard um, there's a quite a few people going around and saying that Ronnie's not real or anything. And I've never met Ronnie. I've never um, at the time I never spoken to him. And so basically I said no. Um, I was actually watching the stream and I'm a big fan of Mel, Ike Mel. And so I was watching the stream when this guy actually called in and I was like, oh, well, this is pretty insightful. So I wasn't doing the blaming game or anything. And um, in, the, in all the chats and everything. So we're like, okay, well, we believe him. We, we truly believe um, Mel. And I was, okay, well, Ronnie's real. So I defended. So in other words, what she did was she was a fan of Ike Mel. And she was camping like she says she was in her car numerous times on different podcasts and panels. And then she calls in to Ikidmel and then she gets this phone call and the guy calls in and then she finds out that he's real. That's what she's saying here. But what she doesn't know is she doesn't need, she is a fan of Ikidmel. So whoever calls in, she's going to believe. Am I not right? I'm 100% right on that. That is a fan believing everything that somebody's going to say, especially somebody who used to hack cameras. And he's got a video out saying it. But we're not talking about him no more, are we? We're, no, no one's talking about any of that stuff. But it's okay to hack people's cameras and watch, watch their videos. I don't think it is. I don't think it's cool at all. But now you have Xana Mae on Popcorn Planet up here getting ready to spill her beans and lie. Literally lie. There's a couple of lies on here she gets caught in, guys. Let's go ahead and get to it. Let's see what she has to say. 
then um yeah he ended up actually being a real guy i defended him because he's been going um his name's been dragged through the mud on a youtube and his um his wife and um, everybody is just extremely distraught and they've been doxxed and everything so i don't know the guy i've never personally met him um but i just wanted to defend this person that is being getting attacked and abused and this is what i get right somebody asked why defend a stranger i mean i would ask the same thing why are you so aggressively you know choosing that the stranger is guilty i mean look to be fair i don't know ronnie either i don't know how involved ronnie could have been let's be clear right but it sounds like from your perspective my question to this andrew 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 andy my question to this angie andy dude would literally be would you have defended him is that what you would have done would you have went out of your way on a panel and piss somebody off because you liked Ikidmel. That's the whole reason why you stood up for that dude is because you liked Ikidmel. You admitted to it. That's all you had to say was, yes, I defended him because he called into my favorite YouTuber's podcast, which would be Ikidmel. You done, so we done figured that one out, Aunt Zanime. Plain and simple. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and see what she has to say. If you were seeing a, a pile on without like a clear evidence, just some suspicion, right? And you decided to like, well, let's hear this guy out, which is honestly what the country is supposed to be built on. It's giving everybody the opportunity to defend themselves. Is that what happened? Yes. Um, so, well, another thing is that the reason I am defending a stranger is because I stand very strongly against harassment and, and bullying and cyberbullying. And I've been um, avid um, speaking against it because I did lose a friend and my best friend actually had her best friend um opt out in a bathtub a couple years ago i'm sorry like 2015 but see that's the thing um and then they did it because um, because of cyber bullying so i've been extremely advocate for that and when i heard this person is just a caller just a fan of the show that has i don't know if he does or not um but he said he doesn't have anything to do with the case. There's our point, guys. Right there. That's the whole reason why she believed him is because she's a fan of Ikidmel's show and he knew Ikidmel. So she automatically stood up for the guy. There we go. We got that one. Anyways, guys, let's move on to see what she has to say. And that's why I try to stand up. Right. Well, you gave them the benefit of the doubt and some people didn't. Mm -hmm. And it's their right to not give them the benefit of the doubt. But what's frustrating is apparently you have no right to go the other direction. If we don't sort of agree with the logic that Ryan was going, you're wrong, you're guilty, you're involved in a cover up. Is it, Let's just be very clear. That's where it all started. And it seemed like that was the motivation. Hmm. Why are you why are you defending this guy? I mean, I, I, I can I, <laughs> talking rationally. I can think of several reasons because you're a good person. You want to give people the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you know, you know, the stream, et cetera. Uh, what, if, what if you're, they're all wrong, right? That's, that's all va valid things. And, and there we go. So you did that. Uh, and then Ryan, did Ryan start doing the videos or I know there was a kayaking trip you did. We'll talk to that. In a second. But was there anything else before the kayaking video uh, or did it just become a pile on? Was there anything else since that pile on after uh, Ryan called you out for defending Ronnie? Um, so for that first video, it's been a month. <laughs> um, so the, for the first video, yeah, well, there's a kayaking video that I actually um, submitted to Ikenmel Show. And now, mind you, on this part of time, she literally says that it's the first video, okay? Now, keep that in mind as we go through this where, where our timeline stops. When the video stops, then basically the fun's over. Okay, but what I'm trying to do, guys, is show you guys pinpoint areas to where she's actually lying about something. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what she has to say. And because I went, I went over there to volunteer. Well, I. Okay, so let me start a story. I went over there because I needed a mental break, and that's what I do. I go kayaking um, with. And now she says she went over there. She went over there for a mental break. What happened? And then you said you volunteered. 
What happened to you going over there because you already have it planned, Zanime? What happened to that part of you? Because that part seems to be out the door at this point. So, as you go on through this whole thing, you do nothing but lie. That's all you do. First off, it was, you've been there one time because you've never kayaked this body of water, correct? That's what you said. Then you continue on down the road, and you say, well, there was a beautiful Spanish party. It was right next door to the party that Kylie Rodney was at, and I attended it. It was your party, you said. Then you go on in this video, and you literally tell everybody that it was a phone on Snapchat, on social media, that you watched this party. Do you not see how people are blowing this out of proportion? How you do not look suspect? I'm just saying, it is what it is. Now, we done caught you in two of them now. How many more are you going to let me catch you in, Zanime? Creek Squad's up two right now. Let's continue. With my dog. This is Hazmat right here. Um, so I go kayaking with my dog, and I happen to be in the area, and I know what has been happening because I've been tracking, um, tracking the, with multiple channels that are my favorite channels um and i was like okay well since i'm here i wanted to go to this lake anyway so and let me volunteer so i actually put in my volunteer efforts like 300 plus people to search for the missing girl missing 16 year old girl within the area so i drove around i took some other footage i stopped on the side of the highway i actually took a tumble by the way i do want to clear up tumble um it's actually clumsiness or because there's there's a thing going around that I took a tumble so it's like oh well did she roll down it's like no tumble is just it's just falling down clumsy so that's I just want to clear that up so I stopped on the side of the so I want to stop this right here for a minute because I want to pinpoint something whenever she said she went to sign up for this and she said there was 300 plus people there how many people was said was that was actually at Kylie Rodney's party? 300 plus people. So is that not just a coincidence or is 300 plus people that looked for her and 300 plus people at Kylie Rodney's party too? You see where this is kind of looking suspicious right here? Because I can take this and run with it already about you, the Spanish party, the you lied about that. You said you was next to the party. So if the Spanish party was next to the party, then why ain't they getting questioned? Just like you said in your last video. I'm sure whoever was at that party has already been questioned. That's what you said. Then you continue to say that you went to this place because you are this late because you already had it planned. Then you turn around and you say you've been there one time, your first time, and you went there for to uh, volunteer to help find Kylie Rodney. But it's the same time as you said before, the one time. Because you went there to kayak because it was the only body of water you have not kayaked. So which one is it, Zanime? Do you see where this is looking totally out the window here? And Psycho Babble, she does say that she camped in her car. She did say that she had the Spanish party. She was there. That's it. Okay, so there's three for us now. Let's continue. The highway, there was a creek, and I wanted to get some footage of that creek. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm, I, feel, I feel like, why do I have to explain myself? Why do I have to explain every single move that I did during the, this trip? During this trip that I wanted to do for my own mental health, and I wanted well to volunteer. Why? So I guess the uh, so I, let me push back because I, I don't want to seem like I'm just complete. Uh, so, like, why did you decide to go? Like, some people are going to say, did you do it for clout? Is it because the thing was there? You were going to try and find something specifically uh, what is, that area? Yeah. What yeah. can you respond? Like, can you send some? Like, well, maybe that was a bad idea. Like, are you even a true crime channel? Like, what was the reason you went to that spot? So, I had my I had plans already to go there uh, way before way before she disappeared. 
And since I was going to be there, I wanted to get some footage so I can submit it uh, to one of like few of my favorite shows. Zanime, just stop. Just, just stop. Did you just hear yourself? You sat there and proved Creek Squad victorious. That's what you did. Now we proved three things in this one video of what? How long has this video been going on? 15 minutes now on my record? So we're gonna keep going and we're just gonna see how much stuff we could prove in this one video, I guess. Because do you not see how people can take this information that I just found out because I'm listening to you and run with it. That's what I'm trying to say. Just because people has their own opinions and own theories about murders, uh, aliens, Bigfoot, whatever it is, they have a right to that. They have a name for that. But we're going to take it because it's somebody that you don't like and that he don't like, she doesn't like, and we're just going to run with it and put him a bad name because Creek Squad members are cults. We're not cults. It is a way of living. It's the way we was raised up. It may be Ryan Up Church fans. It does not matter. Everybody's acting like everybody's a cult. Everybody's against each other. That's nonsense. Anyways, in Psycho Babble, you're having these podcasts or whatever you want to call it. And literally acting like a little kid. Calling people simps, calling people, telling them diapers, change their diapers, they don't got the sense, IQs. You're slandering everybody that comes on your channel, Psycho Babble. That's it. So, anyways, you have Santa Mae so far up in your mouth, it is ridiculous. And I'm proving to you with the Creek Squad and with my fan base right now. That you are a liar, Psycho Babble. And Zanime, this is the reason why we look at you suspect. That's it. Anyways, let's keep going. So that way they can say, they can see it from the ground and they can say, like, oh, this is what the area looks like. Not from basically not because when you look at the at the area from Google Earth, it looks very small, but it's a lot larger than it really is. And I was like, okay, well, let me see. Um, let me see, let me show it to you. And I, because I was volunteering already and I was like, okay, well, let me take some footage to make sure everybody keeps track of everything that I did. And I wanted to help out as much as I could in my own tiny, tiny way. To be clear, are you saying you volunteered to look for Kylie? Is that yes. what you volunteered? Okay. And then I don't want to like let people know where the hell you are, but is it far off? the the river where or the where you were at uh from where she was found is that a big trip for you is that a were you in the area maybe that time because it's it's kind of like i could picture people saying oh zanime lives in new york and then she was all over there in, in Truckee. uh all of a sudden is i know you were planning the trip but is that a big uh uh thing for you to travel to it's three uh, hours away okay it's three hours away from here. And then I actually spent a night with my friend in Sacramento for her yeah. very first cancer patient or cancer treatments. Um, so on the 12th, I spent there and it's about an hour and a half away from Sacramento. And how did you, because you said that you didn't, and I'm going to ask you, you know, you, don't, you said you already had the plan to go kayaking there, uh, but before uh august the 6th when kylie disappeared is that fair to say uh or do you just like the area or how did you find about the area so lake tahoe area is very okay. beautiful okay. and literally that lake is the only body of water i have not kayaked around that area so you're a kayaker you love doing that. so zanime you're telling me that the six is whenever kylie rodney come up missing so you had seven days. So you're telling me the Pacific area, three hours from where you live at, you already made plans to go kayak at Truckee, correct? That's what you said. 
Then you turn around and you say that you was a volunteer. Well, how long did it take to get volunteer? Because you was there on the 13th. So 6 to the 13th is what, seven days? So you stayed at your sister's or your friend's house, the 12th, an hour drive. So where'd you go on the 13th? Where was you at then? Is that when you stayed in your car was on the 13th? Is that when you called into the late night show on Tony Dodger's channel? Is that what it is, anime? Because that's what you said. So let's keep going. Let's see what she has to say. That's your yes. thing. I, okay. actually kay- I actually kayaked 200 miles in North Carolina from Lillington to Wilmington. Or from Wilmington. Yeah, Lillington to Wilmington. All right. And and one question that people keep asking and I'm going to uh is did you kayak over the area where the car was uh found or you I, know did that uh, from your knowledge? I did not. So you weren't even near there or or like I was on the same lake, but I never okay. kayaked around um that area where she was found. And you know exactly where it's at though where she was found. Yeah. Well, right now we do. Everybody mm-hmm. does. Okay. I mean, that's just like, like, uh, uh, with, with, you know, people are, are asking about that. So I think you make it kind of clear in my opinion, but opinions are like I assholes. Mean, uh, <laughs> well, I, but anime, uh, look, I, 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 I'm here to support you. I, I don't, I just don't believe this, this theory that these three YouTubers are behind her debt. It just doesn't make any sense to me, No. but, but, but what, can you acknowledge that maybe it was, you, do you understand why it looks us? The fact that you sort of made that three hour trek there and do this, like. Now that's coming from Andy on Popcorn Planet. You see, these two guys has a job to do. And this one is the bad guy. And that one, well, that one's the bad guy. That one's the good guy or vice versa. So it makes for good YouTube. You see what I'm saying? So in other words, they're playing a role here. He, Andy's not mad at the nerd guy. And the nerd guy's not mad at Andy. So they have no reason why to make up something about Xana, about Zana Mae here. So she's on a real show now. So she's got put on the spot. And you know, someone that's in the military and they get put on the spot and they break down. Don't they teach you those things? I'm just saying, because on this show, she says that she felt bad, that her nerves got the best of her. Look, in my opinion is this, and please women, I'm not saying this to because I'm a woman hater or anything like that. I stand by women. I don't believe in some things, a lot of things. I was raised like that. But this woman goes on a podcast, a real podcast, a real talk show, and she wants to sit there and try to start problems right off the bat. We've seen her do it. We've seen her try to start problems with Ryan Upchurch. Ryan Upchurch never came at this woman in any direction until she started what she started about saying that everybody said that she killed her dog and buried it. Nobody said that she killed her dog and buried it. That was proven. The video was played right in front of her. She got off the podcast because she was proven wrong. And it continues to happen. But you still have people taking her side because, oh, she's a woman. Oh, she's a troop. She's a U.S. military. Oh, she saved her family from this other country. Congratulations. And I do support our military. That's one place I would put my money if I was rich. That's it. I said it. But as far as this goes... With all this Xanime, Xanime stuff, that's all people are talking about. And I'm talking about Psycho Babble. Stop, Psycho Babble. Ryan Upchurch has not made a video about you in two days. You made a video every day talking about Ryan Upchurch. Then people comes on your podcast and you want to say that they got they they got his dick in their mouth? No, no, no. Actually, they do not because he hasn't made a video in two days, Psycho Babble. Everybody's pissed off because you are calling the Creek Squad what you're doing, what you're calling them. And this guy even said it looks suspect. And we've already caught Xana Mae in how many lies now? Four? Should we even keep going on this video? I think we should. Let's keep going. See what else she has to say. 
I, I can understand why it sort of would maybe give people like a, huh, did she need to go do that? Why is she defending Ronnie? Like, I understand why there's some questions about you, right? I mean, do you at least understand that too? Yes, I do. I do. It's, it's, it gets a little tricky. It's like a um, game of telephone. When you pass on a message and by the time it gets to another person, it's a completely different message. Mm. Right. And so I uh, look, you guys don't have to like her. She maybe, you know, whatever, whether she did it for clout or not, I believe she was trying to do help, uh, but we're all on here doing stuff for clout. If that's Ryan is Lewis is Zanime is I am, we're, we're all doing it to, uh, you know, sell CDs or support our families or do whatever. That's what we are on YouTube for. Uh, is you, wh that's what I want to get to next. Like, why are you on YouTube? What are your goals? Like is YouTube a, 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 a job for you? No, I had 45 subscribers at the time. And I, I did not wanna um I did not wanna grow my YouTube channel whatsoever. I just wanted to put out some silly educational videos. Do you and, regret kite well sorry? Go ahead now. Go ahead. Do you regret kayaking now? Now I do. do you feel like you do? I do. I feel see that's the thing. Thank you for asking. No one actually asked me how I truly feel about the whole situation. I do. I feel like one hundred percent, I regret going over there and actually camping out in my car. And now, knowing now what we know, Creek Squad, salute to you guys. I don't think we have nothing else to prove. Nothing. Zanime is lying on this podcast on Popcorn Planet, and Popcorn Planet knew she was. You can see their face. Psycho Babble. I hope you see this video. And anybody who is sticking up for a liar. I don't, I do not stick up for liars. I'm glad we caught this. So Creek Squad, salute to you guys. YouTube family, your boy Deuces out. I love you guys. Have a good one.